meditation on the larger catechism uh, continues this morning with question number 154, which reads as follows. What are the outward means whereby Christ communicates to us the benefits of his mediation? The answer to the question is the outward and ordinary means whereby Christ communicates to his church the benefits of his mediation are all his ordinances, especially the word, sacraments, and prayer, all which are made effectual to the elect for their salvation. We spoke last week of what we must do to escape the wrath of God, and we spoke first of all of that repentance that God requires of us, such that we turn from our sins and look to God in faith. And so there must also be a turning to Jesus Christ and the hope of salvation in Him and in Him alone. True faith rests in Christ as He is presented to us in the Gospel. In the fullness of His mediatorial glory, in the fullness of His uh, redemptive work, His sacrifice on the cross, atoning fully for our sins, cleansing us of every guilt and pollution of sin, such that we might be free of them when we stand before our perfect and holy God. So faith is rooted in Christ. But how do we hear of Christ? How do we understand the work of His mediation? Well, that's where our next, uh, the next portion of the answer came into, and we develop it further here this morning. Uh, God communicates the benefits of Christ's mediation to us through His ordinances, through those uh, means by which uh, the Gospel is proclaimed to us. And in, in particular, there are uh, a number of ordinances that are, are particularly useful that way. Before we get into those, We want to highlight the fact that these are the outward and ordinary means whereby Christ communicates these things to us. There is a necessity for the people of God to come and to hear the Word of God and have it proclaimed to them so that ordinarily this is the way in which salvation comes, through the preaching ministry of the Word. Now, maybe in the ministry of the church locally, you may hear God's Word on radio or TV or over the internet. You may come across God's Word and uh, various forms of literature. Maybe a neighbor comes to your door and speaks to you about Jesus Christ. But in one way or another, the Word of God is proclaimed to you in an authoritative fashion. And this is the outward and ordinary way whereby Christ communicates to us, as members of His church, the benefits of His mediation. And so the Catechism focuses on, first, the ministry of the Word. The word must go out and be proclaimed to the nations in order for them to see Christ and to understand his great work. We had a missionary tell us of the work in Uganda and how that gospel is being proclaimed there. It is being proclaimed throughout the earth as ministers of the gospel uh, are sent into the world to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Note that the word of God is given authoritatively by those who are called to that office. Missionaries, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Christ gives these as gifts to the church such that we are uh, privileged, blessed, to hear God's word explained to us in an authoritative fashion so that we might receive Christ and rest in Him. What is more, there is an authoritative ministry of the word in the form of the sacraments. In the Reformed Church, we uh, receive as sacraments baptism and the Lord's Supper. These are the two ordinances that Christ has given to His Church, whereby in a visible way, He pictures His work of redemption. Baptism reminds us of the death of Christ on the cross and the shedding of His blood and the cleansing that must take place in our hearts when baptism is applied to us, that outward sign of the washing of water, whether it's through sprinkling, which is the ordinary way, or through pouring or even immersion, through the application of water, we are reminded that we are cleansed from our sins. 
and joined to Christ through faith, joined to his death on our behalf. And so the sacrament of baptism pictures the redemption that God has accomplished for us in Christ and brings us into his church. The sacrament of the Lord's Supper also similarly points us to Christ and his benefits. It shows us that we have daily to feed on Christ. We have daily by faith to uh, partake of the benefits of Christ's death and mediation for us. So the Lord's Supper is given to us so that we might focus on Christ in our daily communion with Him. And then there is prayer. That means whereby we address God and bring our requests to Him in prayer. Prayer is the lifeblood of the church. It's through prayer that the Word of God goes forth with power. It's through prayer that our lives are sanctified. Through prayer that the sacraments are blessed to us. And so we should give ourselves over to prayer. All of these things are made effectual to the elect for their salvation. You know that the beginning of the answer talked about the outward and ordinary means. And now these outward and ordinary means, which may be sounded to many people, are made effectual to those who are God's elect. Those whom God has set apart for himself in eternity past. Those whom Christ has died for, it is these same ones that the Spirit takes the message of the gospel and applies it sovereignly to their hearts, enabling them to respond to the message of the gospel. So there is this sovereign work of God where those whom the Father has chosen are given to Christ. Christ goes into the world and He dies for them and accomplishes their redemption at the cross. That redemption is then applied to them sovereignly by the Holy Spirit as He makes the word effectual in their hearts, enabling them to respond in faith. And so it is the elect who are saved, rescued from sin. And the salvation is all of grace. All to the glory of God, and not the result of our works. All of grace, centered in Christ. And so there is this need for us to come continually under the sound of the authoritative preaching of the word, the ministry of the sacraments, and participating both privately and corporately in the life of prayer. For Christ's church is a house of prayer. And that's what we should